Big day, big celebration, buddy. Gold all in my watch. And my cake. 10 years, right? Bro, that was last month, bro. No, 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 no. Bro, y'all Caucasian is different. OK, we are Caucasian, but you, you, we saw the posts. I mean, might as well have a slice, right? I can't hurt him. He doesn't like the cake. That's fine with me, but I want the cake. Yeah, All, right. All right. Uh, one for me. Hold on. Boy, what are y'all doing? What are you no, doing? No, it ain't none of that. Yep. Ain't no anniversaries. That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm at Wealthy. I happen to be a black man. And we have with us here today, Roy Wood, the sequel. Two black men. He's a comedian, a broadcaster. He's about to head down to Atlanta to tackle the midterm elections. Yeah. Let's get Daily it. Uh, show. I'm going to tackle some barbecue. Let Trevor handle all that election. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about your sneaker history. The first thing we want to talk about, though, the shoes everybody has on feet. So, Wealthy, can you tell us what you're wearing? Another pair of New Balance. These are the Invincible North Hollywood 1906. Shout out Taiwan. Nice. Bro, I heard you don't like New Balance. I like the way they look, man. They feel amazing. <laughs> yeah. But the shit's be looking weird. There's too much going on with a lot of the New Balance designs. All right? Just like a simple, cleaner sneaker. <laughs> Taking a page out of my brother Brendan Dunn's book, Tom Sachs, my first pair of Tom Sachs, did the yellow colorway, Bro, and what, dad socks. What's the nice? Plain sneakers. Uh, we're wearing a LeBron 15. <laughs> there is too much going on. These white Air Force Ones you got on, uh, nigga. The, the Kith King's cloak. I wore these in my second hour special. Mm -hmm. I paid way too much. How much? Over a thousand dollars? Yeah, I'm not. Oh, they came to you get know, you. You know. You had to do some things. And mind you, this is 2017, so I'm still on like that year two Daily Show contract. I ain't got no business getting LeBron 15. <laughs> over a thousand dollars, yeah. right, That's right. still a rookie contract. Yeah, still right, right. And then Quest Love, I talked to Quest Love, I, I did Fallon, and I'm like, hey man, I'm thinking about these shoes. And Quest goes, well, you know, brother. Hey, you brother. You know, brother, I do three shoes. One to wear, one to keep, one to flip. I was like, oh my God, I'm not ready for this. But it was Quest. And I got to give a shout out to uh, Sam Washington, the homie mm -hmm. Sam Washington. And Sam said, if the shoes look good, they do all the work. And I started doing the math on what the whole fit would have yeah, cost. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, fuck it, just put it all in the shoe and then make the rest of your fit trash, which is kind of what I did. <laughs> 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 Tried to clean it up top with some Valentino. It didn't work. <laughs> I'm also that mindset, man, shoes is for wearing. Hey, yeah. man. Hey, yeah. wear your kicks, kids. Yeah. I, I got a special love for these shoes. I dropped 30 points in those shoes at Jamie Foxx house. I got a brag. What? 30 points. 30. We need a special on 30. that right there. I need Ask a Netflix Jamie. special. Ask Ask the best part is that Jamie Foxx house. Jamie. Forget the 30 points. I dropped on 30. Jamie? Or on somebody nah, else's house. It was Jamie's like party. Too much respect. It was, it was Jamie's party. It was, it was one of the homies. It was basically homies. like the Chappelle print skit like reenacted yeah. at Jamie Foxx's house. <laughs> Facts. Jamie I like Owen. how you dropped 30, but you but you respect the game enough to not say who you dropped 30 on. We ain't going to do that. We ain't going to do that. Brothers got checks to Make. Love that. I'm doing the red panda Jordan ones. No, these are the lost and found Jordan ones. I guess I found them. And also, we're shooting this a little bit early, so if you think this is an early flex now, just know this is like an extra. Oh, they're, my they're, God. they're reps, right? Because they're early. Oh Roy, obviously, you said you love those shoes, but what's the most regrettable sneaker that you ever purchased? These sneakers. That's it? <laughs> the dichotomy These of sneakers. man. This is the first four digit sneaker purchase I've made. Okay. Ever. Is it, big is it true? Is it true? It's the only one. It's the only yeah. one. I'm from west side of Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah. Hey. And so South Park Road. South Park Road. Come on, yes, Bella. Sir, West End. In my head, I'm like, I can't wear these anywhere but on stage or on TV or mm -hmm. shit like this. You're safe here. Yeah, just, uh, am I? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to handle them. Okay. Is that a <laughs> Yeah, I ain't go through no metal detector with that intern holding over there. <laughs> you walked around it like Remy Ma? Yeah, I just, I'm never comfortable in these shoes when I'm just out and about on a regular day. And I know ain't nobody trying to hit me over the head for some five-year-old LeBrons. I didn't buy a pair of Jordans till mm -hmm. college. And I, uh, I've only owned two pair of Jordans. One FAMU. Of them, first one I stole at FAMU. <laughs> <laughs> well, not stole. I bought it with a stolen credit card. We had the credit cards. Yeah. I didn't know shit about the culture of Jordans at mm -hmm. the time. This is 97, now, whatever year the 13s came out. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't know I had to be at the mall at 8 in the morning. Right. I didn't know none of that shit. Like, I'm just a motherfucker that wore Ken Griffey's. Junior Seau Air Missions, mm -hmm. like I would wear right. Nike Sports, yeah. like yeah. the sneakers I wore was a black man you respect, 
but you're not gonna rob me for. I would for do sure. Pippins. Right. I know in LA they was killing cats for Barclays. Bo Jackson cross trainers get mm. you respect. Facts. It was a little ugly. You weren't gonna get robbed for right. no Bo Jackson, especially not in Birmingham, because that's that's the crib for Bo. But I get to go buy these first pair of Jordans and they out of my size. I guess I was like an 11 at the time. They had a nine. I'm like, fuck it, give it to me. And you, got the, and you got the stolen credit card, so it's not even your money. It's not even my money. <laughs> I get on campus at nine o'clock in the morning in a pair of size nine Jordans. <laughs> By one o'clock, I'm barefoot on campus. I can't wear them. <laughs> Put them up on the desk. Can't wear like, them. I got them tied around my neck. neck. Like, like, yeah. I got them boy look at them. Like, these are like, just like 48 yeah, minutes. Boy. He played for fam now. Bruh. <laughs> I was barefoot in that bitch from 1 o'clock to 6 30. <laughs> and I just went home. I gave them to my roommate. Like, the, the idea of, I'm going to take them and sell them. What yeah. you going to do in 98? Put an ad in the paper? Craigslist wasn't even jumping yet. Have you ever resold sneakers? One or two, but it's usually something that I thought I wanted, and then I get it, and then I don't want it and then I just sell it. Like, I'm not Quest, or I'm not Michael Che. Yeah. Those are the two people I go to, Guru, teach me which sneakers, right. do, what is coming That's out That's so next. interesting, because I remember Michael Che right. being like, he, he said something about how he didn't appreciate it when people make being a sneakerhead a big part of their personality. So I'm glad that we have the real, the truth no, on No, I che. mean, Che will never admit it, but I mean, Che, che, got, che got a collection. Che Talk has a che collection. I mean, he would probably love to come on this. He probably got all this shit right here on display. Come on, Che. Make it happen. I bet you got all this. <laughs> all right, let's talk sneaker news. The first piece of sneaker news we want to discuss is a Michigan man accused of stealing some $96,000 worth of Foot Locker merchandise. He's a FedEx driver. Listen, you always hear about these conspiracy theories where people believe that <laughs> someone is stealing their sneaker packages. <laughs> right, I feel like this is close to your heart because I know you were kind of dipping into a few packages back at the USPS job. Yeah, did yeah. you did you ever pull some sneakers out? The only thing I was really doing in college, man, we would do credit cards and yeah. Vibe magazines. Yeah. Was yeah. it like because of the, the ebony... Girl in the side, like what? Why? No, you vibe? talking about King, not King. <laughs> <laughs> King was just porno magazine. That was crazy. Boy, 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 Oh. You ever go somewhere the service is too good, like you can't get no space, like back up? Yeah, oh, exactly. they're always oh, refilling man. your water. Oh, and they make commissions. I worked at Foot Locker for like you got seven the years. PTSD from Foot Locker. But okay. like, they pay you like below minimum wage, but then it's like you get like 1% commission. So you're like trying to like, I need to get that shoe Yo, off of you. Ain't nobody more clingy than a Foot Locker employee. <laughs> if, if you make eye contact with a Foot Locker employee, when you walk in that bitch, y'all go together. You it's better the club. not get caught talking to nobody. Who helped you with the shoe, motherfucker? <laughs> Yeah, can I get these in the 13? All right, then they scan the shit, then mm -hmm. they radio to the motherfucker downstairs, and then they disappear. And then I get up front, and then they appear again. Make sure you tell them it was me. My name is Randy. You want some socks, motherfucker? <laughs> or cleaner, shoe cleaner. Don't forget yeah, the shoe cleaner. the force fields? I just bought the fucking shoe cleaner from the last. You need more shoe cleaner, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my God. It's too good. I'm okay with the package being stolen. They need to sit and have an employee meeting and not sell shit. Next bit of sneaker news. Nike recently announced that they're going to try and crack down on resellers. <laughs> they put in the fine print of all the terms and services. They can cancel resellers' uh, purchases. There's going to be restocking fees. They're going to charge you for their returns. This is the best reseller pitch of all time. <laughs> infamous. Are we happy with Most Nike infamous. cracking down on resellers, or we think it's all just a bunch of hoopla? I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's actually gonna do anything. Like, hopefully, it, maybe it scares some of them, and people get their shoes a little bit easier. But I don't. I don't really see it. This just... sounds like the NFL cracking down on concussions. Oh, oh man! <laughs> hey, well, yeah, let me take that back. I thought we you really don't like that. This, this, this is this is like the NFL cracking down on diversity in coaching hires. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're not gonna stop resellers. How do you stop that? Especially right. the only way you can really stop it is put everything back in the stores. Mm -hmm. But yeah, even yeah, then, yeah. I mean, it's just like confusing where it's like if you can stop resellers if there's say you know an Air Jordan 10 is dropping on. Saturday and there's 30 people lined up outside for it and you know that half of them are resellers Are you gonna tell them no you can't come in the store and buy the shoe in the store? You don't have the strength of a bot. You can only buy one. Yeah, 
Nike, if we're going to be 100 about it, Nike needs the resellers because the resellers are the ones that create the secondary market that makes the shoes inaccessible. That's the that's brand value, yeah. Are you mad at the resellers at all? Like, do you get frustrated that you might have to pay $1,000 for a pair of Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. I don't, I don't like it, but you know, if you want something dope, either you want to pay for it or you don't. You know, I really think- That's been life forever. You always want there to be more demand than supply. Mm -hmm. Resellers help create that inequity. Now, they exploit it to an extreme, but if Nike really was serious about it, then the Here's only Here's 10 thing. million pairs. Yeah. My brother, Roy, I want to get into your earliest sneaker memories. In Alabama growing up, when did sneakers first matter to you? What was that moment like? You know the first pair of sneakers that I bought that I was like, yeah. Deion Sanders. Yeah. I think 92 or 93 was the year Deion did the did the two and one two way. Or, yeah. yeah, did the two way. I played baseball in high school. Mm -hmm. He had a baseball cleat version, so I had the cleat version and the fucking sneaker version. That's uh... Two bitches sitting on the bed and motherfucker. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and he had the cleats where you could swap them from metal to um. Yeah, to right. to, yeah. Were you doing that? Yeah. Oh yeah. In practice. I don't want to fuck up the metal, so I switched to the plastic softball were, were joints. You, were you sliding in people and hitting them with the, the metal spikes? I was spikes? too slow. About four, four inch vertical, man. I ain't uh, running like that. <laughs> <laughs> but those were the first shoes that also that I worked for and paid for myself. Cutting you grass, know, mm -hmm. cutting grass, raking leaves. I was, I was, I, I don't like cutting grass, but I raked the I fuck out of shit at your leaves. Was, was, that, was that your hustle and to get sneakers? That was, leaves? that was raking leaves, and then I started. I would do like yard sales and sell my Nintendo tapes. Like mm -hmm. once I got done with a Nintendo tape, I sit hey. out in the front. Yeah, Nintendo cassettes. We call them tapes. The same. Yeah, the cassettes. The, 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 uh, cassette, uh, yeah, the Nintendo the tape. Cartridge, right? no, the cartridge, right? No. In Alabama, it's a goddamn tape. It's, he ain't never been to the South. It's a Nintendo so, tape. So, you know, he, he different. <laughs> and that's how I made my money. $10 front, 15 front and back to rake your yard. And if you said no, i will come back and sprinkle leaves from another job. <laughs> like, you sure you don't want this done? But the Dion's were like the first, the first real shoe. Everything else I wore, up until that point was just me trying to be neutral and trying to get home. Yeah. My bus stop was a two and a half mile walk back to the crib. I had to cut through the South Park projects as Gangster Disciples. And for the most part, I was good with everybody in my neighborhood. <laughs> but Because you had the basketball yeah, hoop. Because I had a basketball Damn, y'all did do your homework. Jesus Christ, you motherfuckers. Gotta do your homework, guys. <laughs> you talked about mowing or cutting grass. You had a tweet where you talked about the life cycle or span of a shoe. How it goes from <laughs> fresh in the box to it making it all the way down the line to maybe you wear it to the club at some point, you know, and then it, it yeah. then you wear them on a daily basis and then you can cut yeah. grass in them. And then finally the, the, the final level of the shoe is stomping roaches out with them. Yeah, yeah, the shoe becomes a weapon. Yeah. A shoe transitions from being worn to just being something you pop, pop, and then you spit that shoe down. It's a weapon shoe. Do all your shoes go to, to that level? Or? No, some shoe like these, like these stay upper crust. Like, you're not, yeah. you're never going to be mowing a lawn in those? I don't want to say never. You never know, like 20 years from now, but don't worry. Said 20. <laughs> <laughs> bring them goddamn Christmas, bring my stompers. Hey, bro, bring them 15s down. We got to get these. That's right. you take a ride out with one of these. <laughs> Moving forward, my brother, you know, FAMU, one of my favorite HBCUs, probably my favorite HBCU in the whole world. Oh, that check clear at FAMU now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I work on the admissions board. Shout out to FAMU, man. Shout out to Dr. Chipman. Shout out to everybody, man. They have a dunk coming out, a Nike dunk low. Yeah, the low. LeBron is also behind you guys now, helping out yeah, the basketball LeBron, team and everything. LeBron decked out the whole basketball team. With this shoe coming out, and with all the respect that FAMU is getting now, is this going to be a shoe that just like gets delivered because you're an alumni, or you got to work hard for it like LeBron here, work hard? I got to work for it. You know, the one thing I will give LeBron and Nike, you know, with these with these dunks, is that they're giving FAMU students access first. Oh, that's nice. And I don't know if they you saw the You're going to dress up like a freshman, you're going to be in a dining yeah, hall, like, yeah. put some yeah. panda dunks on. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, we can, we can drop the picture in, but you know, there was a line around the block of just students. Mm -hmm. Like, it created this sense of pride within the campus. And there was a pair, I can't remember what they were called, but there was a pair that LeBron made the year before. The dunks this year, I'm not crazy about Lowe's just because of New York City, and I just think New York City water gonna get up on your ankle and turn you into a superhero. <laughs> so last year, there was a green mid that he gave the basketball team, and FAMU's athletic director at the time was a brother from Birmingham, and I sent his ass a message. I was the convocation speaker Let's at go. homecoming. Let's go. What? And so I'm like, pulling to the side. Hey, 
the son was 13, you got an extra 13. And it was in the gym. We, we did. Wait, did you put that as part of your compensation? I fucking should have. <laughs> <laughs> I should have. And we would do, yeah, we'll give me your card and we'll get Ooh, you. Oh, y'all family. The OGs and family that love to tell you, I got a card for you. I, yeah. I'm going to catch up with you. My plug got fired four months later. <laughs> Damn, Damn, bro, man. New, new athletic director at FAMU. <laughs> My name Roy Wood Jr., class of 2001. Supposed to be class of 2000, but some shit happened at the mall. It'd be like that. But I got my degree, and I think I'm old. A pair, I don't want to say old, that's, that's rude. You don't want to talk to this black woman. Uh, it would, it, if you would humbly consider uh -huh. a pair of 13, size 13, either this year's dunks or last year, preferably the green joints from last year, but just either one, please, amen. A humble amen. request. Strike, strike, strike again. Strike, <laughs> strike. So that sneaker plug went away. Do you have other sneaker plugs? And then do you ever get worried about fake sneakers? I do get worried about fake sneakers. Like you back know, in the barbershops back in the day? Have they ever got you back in the day? No, because I just, I was never, you I never was. desired having the best super duper. Just give me the, give me the silver medalist. Yeah. Well, also, like the thing I think is dope that FAMU is doing, I'm cool with the fact that they're making the sneakers exclusive to the students oh, first. Yeah, that's amazing. Because that's a perk of enrolling in the school. People talk about Deion Sanders revitalizing black Jackson. college recruiting in Jackson State, but little stuff like what LeBron is doing just with a sneaker drop, that's as important yeah. as well to yeah. recruiting. He wants these shoes so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you yeah. put out the whole campaign for Come it. on, come on. President Larry. Yep. Excuse me. Dr. Robinson. Do Doc, President Dr. La Larry, Dr. Robinson. It's me, Roy Wood Jr. I spoke at your convocation in November 2001. I braved COVID to come talk to them kids. Uh, man, let me get a size 13, Dr. Rod. And knowing you since your, your family came to Golden Corral, man, respectfully. Kiss the kids. Corral. Who were in Golden Corral? No, R. R. Golden, Corral, Golden Corral and uh, Tallahassee. I worked at both of them. Yeah, they just went out of business. Don't R. shout R. out the one in Hoover. They didn't like me. Uh, <laughs> the one Fuck in Hoover, Hoover shut down? They, all all uh, of them just went up. All right, good. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> Roy, um, shout out DJ Dip. <laughs> Shouty the pimp, DJ <laughs> Dip. <laughs> I spit on his Escalade. You spit on <laughs> DJ Dip's Escalade? I was drunk, I was coming out of the club, and I just spit without looking. I see the spit go up in the air, and DJ Dip sparkling motherfucking Escalade is right there, and my slobber landed right on that man's hood. Went in slow-mo. And I took off my brand new Tommy Hill figure and clean that man's with the right Shining the window out. Because you, that's a stomp out <laughs> offense. Oh, yeah. Real quick. In Tallahassee. <laughs> Roy, I know there's a legendary story, I think, of Eddie Griffin asking for a fresh pair of white on white. Air yes, Force, I've heard this story. Air Force Ones for every single performance that he does. Are you trying to put sneakers on your rider? Yeah, yeah. Have no, you done that? or? No, let me let me clean up the Eddie Griffin thing. Okay. Because what I've also heard, and I do believe this, having met Eddie a couple times, he takes his shoes and donates them to a boy's shelter back okay. in Kansas City. Now, he might wear them hoes one time. <laughs> but the shoes go, it, it, I don't yeah. want people thinking Eddie Griffin got a bedroom in his house just stacked full of show sneakers. Mm -hmm. Like, if there is a shoe that I could just have over and over and over again. What would it be? It'd be an Air Max 95. Uh, the Brazilian joint. That shoe every the, time? That's the, it's, that, What's the it's, fit, dude? It's, are you wearing a Brazil <laughs> jersey with Nigga, the who are you? <laughs> if the shoes are nice, the fit ain't gotta be shit, yeah. baby. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga just gonna wear yellow every goddamn day. Who Look are at you, him. man. I mean, Look I'm just saying. Him. You need you need the '95s though every three months because I don't know what it is, but the bubble all they start squeaking. Yeah, after yeah. Six months. Put some baby powder in them. Yeah, is that the shit? Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, it really yeah. is a hack. Under the soul. life hack. So why the fuck won't they just do that at the Nike factory? Why won't they? <laughs> powder cost more than Why am I seasoning or my sneakers? <laughs> put, a little pa fact. put a little packet of baby powder in with the shoes. Oh, like, oh my God. Br breaking case of emergency. Put one of them silica do not swallow. Yeah. Yeah. Spring it in there as well. Come on now. Yeah, I know that. You ever try to eat the silica gel back in the day? I, my son ate it one time and I was scared. I ain't tell, I ain't tell his mama. She came in the room like, what y'all doing? I was like, nothing. And he over the corner. <laughs> I just snatched it. I didn't think it down. <laughs> Look at that. It's not. It's not fatal. It's just you're not supposed to eat it. With you being a sneaker guy, I don't want to put you as a sneaker head. Just a sneaker I'm guy. A Let's sneaker put it there. Guy. I enjoy sneaker sneakers. guy. Like I enjoy argue, man. Sneaker man. Sneaker man. I argue with our wardrobe department at Daily Show about wanting to wear sneakers more. Okay. They don't let you. Sometimes it depends they don't on let the you piece. Live? It depends on the segment, yeah. you know, right. what I'm trying to portray as a new, because I'm still satirizing the news, yeah. real news. If you're going to Capitol Hill, you got to wear the hard bottom shoes yeah. and all that. Right, right, right. 
How do you feel about sneaker trends now? I want to kind of give you an open floor. It's going to make me look old. You're trying to get me to hate on these youngins. No, 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 no. Because you might love everything that's happening out here. I'll tell you something that I see that I haven't been able to do myself is to drip my son out in really nice sneakers. Mm -hmm. Anytime I see like a child in like some concretes, I'm like, why you, why you put him in the concrete? You know he just want to step on frogs and shit. <laughs> Instead of concourse, yeah, put him in the yeah, concrete. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. you. I got you. Is it like you want to make not... him a sneakerhead, but he wants like Spider-Man shoes? But I sort get of? it. But I, I get it. Our children are an extension of ourselves to a degree until they get their own fashion autonomy. Mm -hmm. All the four-digit shoes you can't buy yourself, buy him for two digits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I mean, what he ain't impressing nobody on a damn. I ain't saying put your kid in some bobos, but right, also. Never. I'm not a fan of what I consider to be, to a degree, a little bit of a voyeuristic, touristy culture. Like, you can tell certain people who, are, who aren't sneakerheads, but they treat sneakers like a stock or an NFT. Yeah. Or a oh, yeah. Yeah, they just talking numbers, Investment. numbers, numbers the whole yeah. time. Yeah. It's like, have you tried numbers. on the shoe, bitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I got mean, you. But this, but, you smell the leather? But, uh, but what I have to respect, you know, is that sneaker culture has evolved from just wearing the shoe. It's right. something that's a right. display piece. It's a stock X. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, I even hate the fact that I have to use the word colorway. <laughs> what fuck are the color? Did we use <laughs> color for decades. It was just a color. What that's colors? some Alabama shit. You yeah. don't want to say way. Yeah. I just want to say color. What, give me yeah. another, what color you got? Why are you adding another syllable to say the same shit? We had a word. Every single week here on the show, we punish someone in the worst take section for something terrible they did or said last week, as decided by the YouTube commenters. We make them switch out their shoes for something awful. This week it is me. I got to put my hand up for that. This is a Skip Kelly for me. I can't. Oh wow! Get down with UCLA. And we're recording. So I have to take off these Jordan ones. Woo! Oh yeah, Capitol Hill. Ooh. These are the Capitol Hills. <laughs> yes, sir. Are these a Daily Show for us? Yeah. These are, yeah. <laughs> the these bricks are nice. on Brick City. Actual yeah. bricks. They say, they say fashion yeah. inside of them. That's how you know it's... Um, oh, this is nice. That's <laughs> nice. That is. Had to go with your brown yeah. shirt. That's beautiful. On your way to losing a city council election. <laughs> oh, you're going to win all the elections. It's election that's month, a, too. Oh, this is... You that's a take local that election you. shoe. <laughs> you can't wear that in Atlanta. <laughs> this ain't no national midterm. Yeah. <laughs> that is a... City council. Man. Local vote for me on referendum, too. My brother, Roy, we also do a segment on the show called Drip, Flip, or Skip. Okay. Drip meaning that it looks good. Flip meaning that you resell, and okay. skip meaning that you don't fuck with it at all. Our first sneaker in Drift Flipper Skip is going to be the Padini Times Reebok question, Tiger Prisms. And I'm going to start with the Reebok official Yado on the couch. Brandon Dunn, Drift Flipper Skip. Uh, these are Skip. I already have the holographic ones. So. I don't uh, it's a skip for me, dog. All right. You got beef with AI. Yeah. No, I oh, see, yeah. Stop starting Wait. shit. If Bubba Chuck punch you in your lip, <laughs> that's not going to be good. <laughs> he can't be out there when he punch oh. you. He got to be Bubba Chuck. Uh, well, T. These ones, I don't have the holographic ones like Brendan, but I think the holographic ones are the only ones that they should have made of these. So okay. It's a skip. Okay. This is a skip, and um, I love this silhouette questions are this shit they literally can get you past in life if you didn't have jordans yeah this shoe saved a lot of kids lives yeah. in our culture so psh, well, shout out to that. the only shoe that could get you really cracked on was patrick ewing i'm sorry yeah pat mr ewing i'm sorry <laughs> yeah pat ewing. uh shoe number two my brother is going to be the adidas trey young number two Ooh. um well to adidas guy i think maybe sometimes new balance kind of got that contract yeah. for yeah um, I feel like I should have some solidarity with the sneaker because Trey Young also has a bad hairline. So are these the hairlines? What is, what's going on here? It's Jim Flipper Skip, sir, please. I'm sorry. These are Skip. Okay. Keep these on ice forever. Trey Terrib. That's French. Okay. This is Skip. All right. I'm dripping with a baby blue tee, V-neck. Right. Come on, dog. Deep You're hooping in these? Yeah, yeah. How I'm, deep is I'm, the V? I'm dripping. Nah, it's shallow V. We ain't going shallow V? We ain't going broke, nigga V. I'm talking about. <laughs> you know when the Yo! V yeah, pinching around when the, the collar. V, when the V right at the collarbone, yeah. that's yeah, yeah, rich yeah. people shit. That's a nice t shirt. That's one <laughs> a nice t shirt. Ain't no V neck. That's a Ted nice t shirt. Okay. Come on. Um, I'm definitely not wearing the same outfit as Roy, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate this. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I was going to skip this, but I can't go against Atlanta like that. And with basketball shoes, this is a drip. 
until proven different. Moving forward, shoe number three, Nike ACG Zoom Gaia Dome. Cortex. Ooh. Uh, Roy, I'll start with you. It made you ooh. I would drip those. I feel like we grew up on a shoe like this. Yeah. It, might, it might be a little bit of like a delivery guy sort of I would, I would treat that like a snow boot, like a East Coast. That's like an East Coast. That's, That's East Coast. Coast. Yeah. Uh, Poconos. East Coast. For the shoe wheelies, Ben. Poconos is not what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about stomping through Harlem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These are the BX monsters right here. Yeah, this is a skip. This I, I do like the ACG vibes, but this looks like something you would wear if you were like a member of an over-militarized police force or something like that, you know? Oh, you don't like the police? No, see, I disagree. I think this is more of a off-duty firefighter. Okay. Okay. Type situation. I want to drip it because I feel like the whole hiking trend is in right now, but I feel like I'd probably be more of a fan if it was a little lower cut. Okay. Right for you. Okay. Yeah, so it's a skip. Yeah, I just love the East Coast in this. At first, for some reason, when we first saw this, I was like, man, it's a skip. But I don't know. I feel that, like, I've wore all the cool boots. It's kind of like I want to try out. I want to see another colorway in this. I'm going to say drip. Roy, we also do outfits on this segment, and obviously we have to do Roy Wood Jr. outfits. Outfit oh, number one. Lord. Let's take it back. Oh, the ponies. Come on. Oh, you motherfuckers found the ponies. Look at Facts. That. Central Park boys. Central Park baseball. Let's get it. Look at that black ass. Confessions <laughs> of a bench warmer right there. Right. Look at the No, ad, no ash on his elbow. Look at him. Because I ain't play. <laughs> <laughs> Stay moisturized. I wouldn't slide. Oh, man. I'm out. I'm, I'm, this man is insane, man. Jesus. Y'all fine. Y'all digging in the crates on your boy. Hey, we doing the homework, baby. Oh, ponies, I'm still skipping. Okay. I'm still skipping. I had a pair of ruse I would still rock again. What'd you keep in the stash pocket on the ruse? Just a couple quarters. My <laughs> mom always made me leave the house with emergency quarters so I could call home. It's a nostalgic photo. This is before you had to pony up the cash and hey. get your Dion's. Okay. Oh, yeah. No genuine. Oh, but I see what you did there. Ah, yeah. I mean, it, old school photo, it's a drip. Yeah, super nostalgic. Look at the pose. He's already, he's got a fastball loaded up. He's shelling him. I played first this base. Is... What the fuck was I even doing? <laughs> Everybody wanted to be a pitcher. <laughs> like a it's pitcher. like, but do a, do a baseball pose. All right, I'm a pitcher. Like, boy, you don't know you who play? my dude was at that time, though, was Dave Stewart from the Oakland A's. Hey. Like, that was like, he just played with an intensity yeah. and just a focus. You trying to match that? Yeah, that yeah, was this, my Dave dope. Stewart straight face. Me back. Slight black eye. I don't know if you can tell. It looks like the pitch is distorted, but that was an actual black eye. Oh, from you a get, fastball to the face. You got hit by a pitch? Yeah. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Trying to lean in. I thought you was just, you know, black far. man things. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That, I, when, whenever people see this picture, I have to like, hey, the black guy came from a sporting incident. <laughs> I grew up in a loving home. My yeah. mother did not punch me in the face. <laughs> Nostalgic drip. This makes yeah. me want to go grab a slice of lemon pie. Yeah, right now. same thing. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm never going to. I love the kids. This is a drip. Uh, outfit number two. There you go. Look at him. Okay. Okay. So this is the cheap Valentino outfit. What's going on here? Talk yeah, to me. Yeah, that was the that was the unfortunate white jogging pants. That's <laughs> oh, oh, it's the pants that we that we yeah. uh, had an issue with. Pants, the pants. We're turning our back on this. Yeah. Who was the first person to say something about your outfit, or because you're the woman I was dating at the time? Oh yeah, that's who got to say it first. And she didn't say nothing. She was just like, "You gotta wear that." I was oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the one for your special. I was like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know how somebody size up your outfit and then instead of respecting their yeah, opinion, yeah, yeah. you you double down? If you see me in white that. joggers, respect my privacy because I'm going through something. I don't regret the shirt because the shirt was covered by the, the Valentino okay. joint, which also I should have cut the sleeves on the shirt because if you look at the indentations in my arm. Yeah, uh, be like ludicrous in that old video back in the day. You can see <laughs> the indentations of the shirt yeah. because the Valentino jacket was just the perfect size without anything else no room it, yeah i had no room like that was that's why my second hour special that's the one i never like really talk about because of the fit because of the fit damn so this is a joke was solid it was some of the best material i've ever written i just but you didn't watch feel my, watch okay. my third one don't i was dressed much better this nigga hiding stylist they like i'm hiding somebody man yeah uh, i would skip it okay I would, I would skip it i think all of those items separately uh -huh. are great oh yeah but when working in concert, yeah. 
that colorway. Is it, that's oh. not, I'm not even smiling in the picture. I don't even believe in myself. You, you yeah. just dropped the word, though. The colorway. <laughs> uh, that's your favorite word now. Yeah. He used it for the rest of his life. I would say flip on it, but you said you spent over $1,000 on the shoe, so there's not much meat left on that bone uh, at that price. So if you don't feel comfortable in it, then I got to skip it, right? Brendan? I feel the same way. I need some meat on the bone. We got to get this out of here. Um, but once again, if you ever see a black man with white joggers on at a certain time, respect his privacy because he's going through something. <laughs> I'm just letting any culture that don't know that about black men. No, Outfit no, number no. three. This is the best picture you ever took in your life. You should have brought him uh, out there for this, this comedy too. In this outfit right here. <laughs> right here. Yeah. How was it? What's going Shout on here? To Detroit Dust. <laughs> what was happening for Daily Show, we went out and shot a sketch of how Herschel Walker should defend himself from all his unwanted oh! children. Oh my God. You know, Herschel gonna be on the campaign trail, you know, all these rando kids coming up, talking about, you my daddy. You, go, whoop, whoop. you gotta put the move on them. Uh, and so we needed a, now you know what would have been good here is those, the Nike, the maroon joints that we So just you would have worn those Yeah, ACGs. I would have worn like a more tactical oh. boot yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got but you. But a black 95, which I which is a staple in my house, like that's a standard. Is that y'all black and yeah, one of your house? Mine. Those are mine. Are those the regular 95s or those, those like are, the 95 boots? No, I have those as well, though. I have got every the, flavor. Yeah. I'm I scared black, of his collection. He got that shit. I have the black 95 snow boots and I have the green, the, the, the yeah. forest green yeah, or whatever, yeah. the forest green and the orange. But yeah, also, if you see a black person with untied shoes. Cross the street. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. He going through something. And that's like just a subtle nod to I'm not to be fucked with. Like, just, you know, little. <laughs> so, drip flip or skip, I gotta ask. Black 95s are always in. You gotta drip them whenever. Yeah, this is a tactical drip, yeah. Wealthy? Real functional. I mean, Real it purposeful. might be a flip. Like, over the, oh. like, over, over, the, over the shoulder. But, I mean, we've been talking about Atlanta, I feel like, for half the episode. 95 Air Max, because I'm a dope runner. Drip. 95 Air Max are heavy as fuck, though. It's like... Man. Fucking, that should be called concrete. Yeah, I love this picture so much. I think because I love the person that you're with. And you, mm -hmm. 95's loosely tied has a good ring to it. This is a drip. Yeah. Brenda, then take us out. Well, before we get out of here for the day, we want to breeze to the comments section and see what people have been saying about us on YouTube for the past week, which is always a fun time. Oh, dear. We have one from Delta Zero saying, I look forward to this show more than any show on streaming services. Watching FSR crew's chemistry grow over the years has been really cool. Yeah, it's been fun, right? It's very nice. Jessica says, okay. my boyfriend and I watch every new episode together. I'm not the sneaker enthusiast in our relationship, but I love your show and energy. I look forward to every new episode. Thank you, Jessica. I could be a boyfriend. So she watches with her boyfriend? I feel like there's a lot of yeah. couples and who watch And she's not in the sneakers? Nope. Y'all got to say something to that boyfriend. Look, hey, man, listen. Come on. Do something nice for Jessica. Facts. She watching this shit with you. She don't want to watch this. <laughs> she want to watch something else on on Criminal Minds. She wants to watch Criminal Minds. Probably ain't even his account. Probably watching it on her YouTube account. Fucking up her <laughs> the algorithm. The algorithm's going Oh, crazy. algorithm is horrible. <laughs> we have one more here from Decor saying, we need an episode where y'all all wear a pair of sneakers you wouldn't usually wear, but they're heat, please. Maybe. Maybe. We'll think about it. Oof. While we're thinking about it, Thank you for watching. This has been another episode of Full Size Run. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brandon Dunn. I'm at Welty. James. Colorway. on every color, that's a full size. Buy six for my kids, bought a seven for my chick. Island boys. <laughs> Just hanging out here on the couch. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> Guys, this is season 14 and we need you like we always do every time we sit here. We're the new outcast, by the way. What? And I ask you to subscribe to our show. You watch the episode, but your work is not done yet. We need your support now more than ever. Like all the videos, comment on all the videos, make your whole family watch all the videos, only say good things about us. Put our show in your stories, share it, recycle it, do it again, start over, watch the first season, catch up. Family gatherings, just throw it on for, for any reason. Island boys!